Hi everyone, welcome to the latest update from the Young Persons Guarantee. By now, you will be aware that we are in tier three measures as a result of COVID-19. Well, I've had an opportunity to talk to our young people, my co-chairs in the Young Advisory Group, and this is what they've told me in terms of the impact of those measures, the implications and what it means to them. This is what Chloe said. Every time we begin to move along or up the ladder, it ends up landing on a snake and heading straight back down again, like in snakes and ladders, except this isn't a game. This is our lives, young people's lives, young people's futures. This is what Faith said. Honestly, with the second lockdown, I am scared. Kids have been sent back into packed classrooms. Sixth forms are back at full capacity and uni students are trapped inside their accommodation with minimal support. She also says, I don't feel like young people are being supported well enough by central government and that our health and well-being have, co have come below the economy in terms of priority. And Bobby says, as time goes on, I start to worry more and more about if me and my family will make it through this winter okay and financially. And tier three restrictions or even a second lockdown add greatly to that worry for all of us. If you are a business and want to support young people's futures, do it now. If you are a young person and concerned and worried about how you are going to get through these times of uncertainty, please head over to our website and have a look at the support that we can offer to you right now.